Hello friends, today I am going to explain session in ASP.NET. So first, understand session in ASP.NET. Session is server-side state management technique which is store and retrieve values for a user as the user navigate ASP.NET pages. It means one page to another page in a web application http is a stateless protocol this means that a web server treat each http request for a page as an independent request now http session state class it is for session management class there is a there are some property and method here is a some property cookie mode count is cookie list is new session mode session id session id is a unique identity of identifier and timeout it is a property its default time is 20 minute now HTTP session state class have few method abandon, clear, remove, remove all, remove it. Now session have type five type in pro state server, SQL server, custom. It is a basic theory of session. In pro is a default session type which is you store session state in memory on the web server state server mode which store session state in a separate process called the asp.net state service sql mode store session state in a sql server database custom mode which enables you to specify a custom storage provider of mode provide for disable session state now session have advantage and disadvantage first advantage it store user state and data to all over the application easy mechanism to implement and we can store any kind of object stores every user data separately session is a secure and transparent from user because session object is stored on the server disadvantage performance overhead in case of large number of user because of session data store in a server memory that means so many users are having on a traffic on a web server so it can overhead overhead involved in serializing and deserializing session data because in case of state server and sql server mode we had to serialize object before store this is the theory part now i will cover some basic funda about session so first of all we take one aspx page session demo we take one label now we go on a session demo code behind file here is label dot text is equal to session id session dot session id label now concatenate mode session dot mode dot to string is cookie less session dot is cookie dot to string now convert in a string it is a boolean value session dot is new session dot to string it is also a boolean value now default time of session is 20 minute it can print and here is a mode there are a five type of mode in pro state server sql server custom and off now i will run this application and you will show basic detail about session 
uh, here is a session unique every user have unique session id it is default mode in proc is cookie is a false it is a new session true or false now default time is a 20 minute so it can show you now we create one login page login page right here is a login page that login page having two text box and one text box name is and so another text box two text box one text box name is first text box naming is user name and second text box name is password password it's a ready-made template so here is a uh, I will take this login from from ready-made template so here is a one text box for username second text box for Log, uh, password and here is a button now button is here is that button control so now we will click on a button control and we change the name txt username txt username uh, dot text is equal to ronak and txt password dot text is equal to rona then session we create two session first is a username and second is a password now in this two session we pass a value of a text box right in a first session user username session we pass a value of first text box txt username and second text box we pass a value of second text box txt password now it will navigate to index.aspx else both are null means nothing so now session is not directly effect so we can take one page base class page base class right this is the page base class right here it is first we enter inherit it is a blank first of first time it is a blank so we first put in inherit, inherit system dot web dot ui dot page right it can inherit now we write how to create this method how to create this method All right so i will explain again you first we type protected protected override override sub and on in it now again sub and on in it I will comment this line so it can easy protected protected then overrides overrides now select on init matter it is automatically comes this code now we can remove this line my base dot on init now put this code inside the page base class right I will comment out now delete this so that that thing can happen here is a login page 
now session username is nothing and session password is nothing it is an intermediate class that class is inherit on a index page right now our index page is it is our index page it means it is a welcome page right so here we can put the core session when login right label one dot text is equal to session right so I will run this now here is a system dot web dot instead of this line in Harry in Harry right so by default here is inherit system dot web dot UI dot dot page but we want to delete this slide so here inherit page base class this is our intermediate class now it is a it is not directly call in page base class we go to definition page base class here is a page base class here is a page that a system dot web dot ui dot page namespace is used so now and now we run this application sorry here first we run login page login page set a start page login page yes now you can see login page in that login page we pass a value right Rona. login okay here is we can see Rona it is coming from first username right now here we put logout logout we put this value on a master page master page we take one logout button and on this logout button link button the session dot abandon session dot clear session dot remove all system dot web dot security dot form authentication dot sign out now it can redirect on login page right suppose I want to log out and go back on a login page it is a default page and here is the default page page logout it is our mediator class so I will explain and last thing is session expire so we want to use how to session expire in in 20 uh, in one minute so session state we first of all we find system dot web dot system dot web inside we can put session state and open mode mode is the default in proc now timeout default time is 20 minute but we can change one minute now when one minute is passed then session is automatically expired so I will check I will explain there is a four type of uh, uh, how to destroy session there is a four type of destroy session first when runner and runner now right login now here is a logout button session is expire right we cannot go back okay 
now again login now session has put copy suppose we copy the url one browser to another browser and session is lost its data for example we can put value now it can go on a login page right here is the index page but it can move to login page it means session is expired okay now it is second type of second thing now we can do nothing on a page right it can automatically expire session we take one minute one minute we can pass one minute now then we refresh the page session will be expired after a one minute so it is a very crucial and important demo for user we can use session in our website it is a very important it is used for security purpose and it take lot of it reduce lot of code using session session is uh, working on one page to another page now you can check log out you can check uh, copy one browser to another browser at that time session is expired now i will re i try to refresh this website so i think one minute is passed now i would i would like to refresh this page so i would pass the refresh right so session is expired so thank you thank you everyone for watching this video thank you